what's up scorpios welcome to the gypsies tower we are doing the love reading for august i hope you're all doing well remember if the reading resonates so please hit like and subscribe and if not you can book a reading with me at the gypsies tower links below in the description all right scorpios how is your person feeling towards you in the month of august how is this person feeling towards Scorpios in the month of August? What do they need to know? <clears throat> Scorpios in the month of August. What do you want them to know? Oh, all right. We have got moved on. I'm letting you go now so we can both move on. Divine union. You left every part of me untouched. I realize now who you are. Double life. I'm living a double life. I'm a different person in each. Self-pleasure. I pleasure myself to your pictures I have secretly saved on my phone. Oh, Scorpio. And epiphany. I didn't realize how empty my life was until you left me. Well, yeah, probably because you're sick of whacking off or pleasuring yourself. <laughs> At the bottom, we got shut down. I'm swearing off dating. Have no desire to be with anyone. Yeah, because you had a Scorpio. So what else can you do? Um, so in the past, I feel like this person left you Scorpio. And uh, you were probably hurt by that. But I feel like... You moved on completely. Now this person is seeing how important you were to them, but they know they're still living a double life, which means they could be in a relationship. And they still have pictures of you, obviously, because they're pleasuring themselves to them. It doesn't matter, feminine or masculine. And uh, they're starting to realize how much they care about you, and now they're shut down. They don't even want anyone else, Scorpio. <laughs> shut it down, Scorpio. Damn. Okay, let's look at the tarot. You never surprise me. Mm -mm. No, I love your reading, Scorpio. They're like, no one else can fill that void. Nobody. All right. Well, that's your fault for moving on from a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Look, as soon as I split the deck, I haven't seen the Queen of Cups all day. There you are in your higher power. And of course, unless you're a masculine, then you could be dealing with a fellow water sign. All right, so what does Scorpio need to know in love for the month of August? What is coming up for my Scorpios, them, and the person on their mind? All right, so we've got the Six of Pentacles with the Chariot. The person you're dealing with is the Lovers with the Magician. Surrounding the connection is the strength card. Look at all these major scorp. And the five of cups in the center. Ooh. In the foundation, the eight of cups. Bottom of the deck, the king of wands. Hmm. <laughs> um, Scorpio. Whoever this is has a lot of passion for you. Aries, Leo, Sag. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but this person finds you very sexually attractive if you're a male. And if you're the female, this man is ready to mount. <laughs> for real. Um, I see you, Six of Pentacles in the Chariot. You're like moving really quickly. Some of you could want to find balance with a Cancer. Um, but I feel like this is even give and take and the relationship picking up and moving very quickly. It could also be that things happened very quickly between the two of you and ended and now this person's wanting to bring in balance. The person you're dealing with is the lovers with the magician. They are doing love magic. I don't know. Um, that's my first thought. My second thought is that they're just trying to manifest you back into their life. They want a connection with you again. Then you've got the strength card with the eight of cups. It's like you were strong enough to walk away, but this person wasn't. Okay. Somebody wasn't strong enough to walk away from this, but the other one did. And I think it was you. I think you're the chariot. I think you got out of there. And now this person is like, how do I get, you know, Scorpio back? How do I get in Scorpio's good graces? Because I know I, I upset them. But Scorpio, the problem is that they think you miss them. And maybe you do a little bit, but I don't feel like you want this with them. Mm -hmm. 
I think you've taken your power back. Let's look. Let's clarify. Let's see what's going on. For signs, we have Virgo, Gemini, Leo, and Cancer. Jesus. Maybe this person didn't think you'd walk away. That could be it, too. But you did. <laughs> so what's the Six of Pentacles with the Chariot for Scorpios in August? What is this? Six of Pentacles and the Chariot for Scorpios in August. The Hermit. Another Virgo card. The Queen of Cups. There you are. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Cups. You know what, Scorpio, you're pointing at the Four of Cups. You're like, I ain't trying to hear this shit no more. I'm going in hermit mode. Or some of you are connecting with a Virgo here, moving towards a Virgo and away from a Cancer. Scorpio, Pisces, strong Cancer. Okay? That door is closed now. Mm-hmm. You've got other things on your mind. And it's about your finances, maybe even some travel, but not that situation. Look at how your back has turned. Even if you're the masculine, <clears throat> I feel like you want to be in this situation, not this. What's the lovers with the magician? Let's see what's going on here. What is this? You want me to stop for a second? Some of you could be finding balance with a Virgo and a Cancer comes in and tries to split you up with some apology or love offer and you're like shutting it down. What is the lovers with the magician? Because this feels like good energy. And I feel like you guys could be dealing with strong Virgo here. How is the person on Scorpio's mind feeling towards them in the month of August? <clears throat> also, Virgo season is towards the end of August, beginning of September. So that could be when this all unfolds. The Eight of Pentacles, Sun in Virgo. The Three of Wands. Bottom of the deck, the Nine of Swords. So yeah, this person, I feel like they can't move on from you. <clears throat> okay. Maybe they are shut down, but they are. They've had that epiphany. And so now it's like, well, how do I approach Scorpio and tell them? How do I present this to Scorpio? They're afraid with the Nine of Swords. They're afraid of being shot down, as they should be. Mm-hmm. But they're finally opening that door. Okay, they're finally saying, you know what? I got to stop fighting this in my head. I need to say something. So they're being pushed to come towards you and tell you how much they love you. What's the Five of Cups for Scorpio in August? What is this Five of Cups for Scorpio? <clears throat> The Ace of Cups, a new love offer. The Six of Wands, victory. Bottom of the deck, the King of Cups. So some of you could be deciding between maybe a Earth sign and a Water sign. Um, but we have a divine connection here. Could be a Fire sign too. Sorry I'm confusing you guys, but we're going to pull signs. This is a huge love offer. Mm-hmm. From the King of Cups. And if you're the King of Cups, this is that love offer coming towards you for the Scorpio man. There's going to be a victory in love for my feminines and masculines this month. Yay! I love, love, love it. Because you walked away from bullshit. You found the strength in yourself. Yes! Scorpio. What's the King of Wands in August for my beautiful Scorpios? The Ten of Wands. The Five of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, the World card, and the Three of Swords, and then the King back to the King of Wands. And then we got the King of Pentacles. So for those of you who are dealing with a Virgo, I feel as though this King of Wands is upset with you. Mm -hmm. Upset that you moved on in some way. Um, they want you to leave the Earth sign out in the cold. Yeah, and this is how they feel. They feel left out right now. And this is a burden that's hard for them to carry. I also feel like the passion in them is so effing strong that they cannot stand it anymore. Like, it's tearing them apart. It's changing their world in a dramatic way. And so they feel pushed to say or do something right now. Let's go to the Twin Flame deck. Hmm. Oh, well, Scorpio's happy over here. We ain't trying to hear all that shit. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> no. All right, Scorps. What's next for Scorpio and the person on their mind in the month of August? Scorpio, you have got beliefs. Similar or clashing belief systems can bring you together or keep you apart. You're very spiritual. You also believe in commitment and honesty. And if that someone fucks you over, you're done. Done with them. The other person, fresh start, <laughs> new opportunity, release the past. This is your second chance. They want to rebuild this with you at all costs. And what's the final outcome? Between the two, we have surrender, detach, trust, free fall, have faith, all will be well. Mm -hmm. And I kind of see that fall energy. Then we have crossroads, divergent past choices, confusion, follow your intuition. You're going to have two love offers, Scorpio. That's why the three of swords is here with the world card. Then we have union, reconciliation, eternal love. Your time has come. And then bottom of the deck. Awakening, realization, progress. Your twin is awakening to your connection. So they want to come in. They want a union with you. You're going to have a decision to make between a couple of love offers, masculines and feminines, and you're going to surrender and make a choice. But you're going to be very spiritual about it and take the time that you need with the Queen of Cups and the Hermit being here and then the King of Cups with the Ace of Cups. It's about your love first, what you want before you're putting other people before you, which is so important. You are getting your priorities straight. Yes, yes, yes. Not that you didn't, but this is a big reading for you, Scorpio. <clears throat> Money's not looking bad either. So who is Scorpio dealing with in love aside from the signs that I've mentioned in August? Scorpio. Leo. Cancer. Pisces. Gemini. And Aries. Okay. So let's pull your final advice. What is going to happen in Scorpio's love life for the month of August? What advice do you have for Scorpios in the month of August? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So you grew up in a toxic household, some of you, and you just, you know, the way that you had relationships or saw them wasn't healthy and you're changing that. Good for you. Then we have make the effort. Great love is we're taking the steps you're guided to take. Here, they want me to say this. That's why this is behind you now. <clears throat> You're not going to accept anything less than the Ten of Cups. Uh -uh. Or the Ace of Cups. You better come real with a Scorpio. Otherwise, you're done. You can go sit and wallow in your own misery. Mm. I know that's right, Scorpio. Okay. They sure did say, grab them cards. <laughs> so, make the effort. And then playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yes, yes, yes. Bottom of the deck, we have getting to know each other. As you reveal yourselves to each other, your bond deepens. Three people in the card. There's going to be someone I feel that comes into your space and wants to maybe, because I feel like someone could be in a commitment. Okay, it's here. Like someone's moved on, they're in a commitment. I feel like it's Scorpio or Scorpio taking their time and this energy is coming in that's playful, that's trying to win you back. And I feel like you're like, well, right now I'm trying to kind of heal myself and I've got another love option. What do I do? Mm -hmm. But it's nothing bad. Like you got your finances together, you're on point, you're using your intuition. So all good things are going to come to you. Let this person suffer. If they're assholes, let them go. Simple as that. <laughs> okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading you know i love 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 you bye